Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, let's share notes. We're all looking for the next big thing, right? Especially in boxing. And there's some young guys out there who are doing a lot of great things who right now are just a shade below radar, right? These guys aren't the headliners. These are guys on the undercards who, in my opinion, might be championship level, might be ready right now. What I want to encourage viewers watching this video on YouTube to do is to add to the three guys I'm going to name here, and then I'm going to talk about one of them, to add your list of up-and-coming prospects who you feel are ready to shock the world, who you feel are just waiting for the opportunity to shake the public imagination. Right now, let me name three guys. They're all unbeaten. I think they're all dangerous. One of them has a big fight coming up that I feel is going to be a coming out party. I'll deal with that fight in a separate video when it's a little bit closer to the fight. That fighter is Frankie Gomez. I've mentioned him here before online. I'm very impressed with this guy. He's unbeaten. And on May the 9th, he's going to fight Umberto Soto. Right? A guy who's held belts. A guy who's very dangerous. Really, the kind of guy who is made for the term crafty veteran. Right? Soto, at a minimum, is going to test... Frankie Gomez. I believe Frankie Gomez is ready. We'll find out in a few short weeks. Another guy I'm keeping my eye on is Adrian Estrella. This guy beat up Celestino Caballero in such a way that Caballero retired. I'm talking about this was a beating. This guy is unbeaten. This guy is an excellent fighter. I hope you keep track of his career. The third guy is a guy who has sparred, believe it or not, with Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather. Right? In fact, in my opinion, he's a southpaw Floyd Mayweather. Now, before we get carried away, let me just say, this guy doesn't have the crispness of Mayweather's punches, right? This guy's bigger than Mayweather, doesn't quite have Mayweather's hand speed, right? And of course, people need to realize that Mayweather really started his career very fast. In other words, look at his age when he fought for his first championship. This guy's older than Mayweather was when Mayweather won his first championship. But of course, it's unfair to compare any young fighter like Errol Spence Jr. to the best fighter in the world pound for pound. Let's give him time. What you need to know about Errol Spence Jr. is that he sparred extensively with Floyd Mayweather according to reports to help prepare Mayweather for Mayweather's fight against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Right now Spence is interesting because he has long hands. Right? He has long arms. He's a master in the pocket. He's a defensive wizard with a high guard. Right? In other words, he has his hands up. Very hard to find in the ring. Methodical. Can work you on his front foot or his back foot. But on his front foot's where he's more interesting. Because he throws a variety of punches. Right? He has the lead right hook, but what I like is his left uppercut. Keep in mind, the guy is a southpaw. According to people in the gym, if you hear online, just do a few YouTube searches, you're going to find people like Barry Hunter who claim that he held his own sparring against Adrian Broner. He doesn't move side to side laterally like Floyd Mayweather. And if you want... Um, you know, a dissertation on Mayweather's movements, just listen to George Foreman's comments as he analyzed 
the Mayweather Hanaro Hernandez fight, right? Errol Spence is still young. He doesn't quite move laterally like Floyd Mayweather. But you can tell he's an athlete and he has excellent foot speed and movement. Right? So he's getting there. He's not he's not there. But he's getting there. Right? So he has a fight this weekend against a guy named Samuel Vargas. Right? According to Las Vegas, Spence should win this fight going away. Understand, because Spence is young, his KO ratio is outsized because he hasn't yet fought the kind of championship caliber guys who would dampen even a puncher's KO percentage. So Errol Spence has an 80% KO ratio. It's outrageous. Well, anyway, the time to research Errol Spence is now, before he gets the big opportunity. I encourage you to look at Errol Spence's fight against Samuel Vargas, a fighter I don't know much about. I'm really going to be trying to catch up with that fight, really more to see what Errol Spence is bringing to the table. Right now, it looks like it's a lot. You should know he was a U.S. 2012 Olympian, but he did not get the gold medal. Right? What you want to do is you want to go back to that Olympics and try to figure out why he didn't. Right? Keep in mind, amateur boxing is different than professional fighting. Right? Amateur boxing really prizes volume more than power, right, really penalizes defensive masters who, you know, translate better to a pro game with more rounds, right? They make you miss early, your tank is empty, they take over. That's harder to do in a shorter amateur boxing format. Anyway, take a hard look at Errol Spence this weekend. Also, Prepare yourself for Frankie Gomez against Umberto Soto. That's a great fight, folks. If you don't know about Frankie Gomez, I encourage you to look up films of this man. He's just what I call a natural, right? Hard to find in the ring, skilled counterpuncher, can counterpunch you in his sleep. You know, if he wants to back you up on the ropes, he can. Um, unbeaten fighter. Also, take a hard look at Adrian Estrella. I'll just tell you, Celestino Caballero was a hell of a fighter. He was an excellent fighter. He could not handle this young man's craftiness or his power. Anyway, those are three guys off my list. List some of the guys on your list who we should be looking at, who right now might not be household names, but might be on the road there. Let's talk about the next wave of the sweet science. I hope you leave those comments in the comment section to this video on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.